Okay, so if you just put in back. So welcome everybody. I really appreciate you all joining us uh, this morning. Uh, thank you for taking your time to, to come and learn more about um, CSI and Indiana Wesleyan University, IWU. Uh, my name is Raymond Flores. Uh, I am the Director of Marketing and Admissions here at Computer Systems Institute. Um, and we have with us uh, Dr. Michael White, um, who Dr. Michael White, I'll let you introduce yourself uh, with your title and everything. He, he's with uh, Indiana Wesleyan University. Good morning, everyone. Uh, as Ramon said, I am Michael White. I am the lead coordinator of international, uh, pro international students uh, with Indiana Wesleyan. I lead the team of the uh, three of us that work with uh, the enrollment side. I'm also uh, the designated school official, um, along with uh, uh, Melinda Stremel, who works in our office. And then we have uh, Rochelle Staubach that does a lot of our communication and office managing. Uh, also, I uh, teach in several of the programs uh, that we run with the F1 students. So, looking forward to today, looking forward to uh, working with you to get enrolled and then possibly teaching you as we move forward. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so very much, Dr. White. We really appreciate that. Um, I just wanted to, I actually have a presentation that I'm going to uh, go ahead and get started. Um, and what I was going to do is besides, I wanted to kind of give a little bit of an introduction about who we are and who uh, we are at CSI, who uh, of course IWU is, how, how this partnership works and uh, kind of get right into that. Okay. So if you just bear with me, here's my is us starting out the presentation. So just to kind of uh, talk to you and let you know, um, CSI or Computer Systems Institute, we actually um, have come together with uh, Indiana Wesleyan University to create uh, this pathway or this, uh, this, this progress uh, aspect of things where you as a student, as an international student can come in if you, if you don't have good enough English, we have ESL Academy where you can do ESL programs. If you want to do just certificate level programs, we have CSI uh, where we do one year certificate level programs that are not degree programs, but like I said, certificate programs to kind of get you to that level. And then there's the there's IWU or Indiana Wesleyan University that has options for both bachelor's as well as master's degree programs. Now, what, some of the good things about how this pathway essentially works is if you think about it this way, um, if you have if you have already uh, attended CSI, Computer Systems Institute, and you want to be able to go to Indiana Wesleyan University, maybe for your bachelor's degree, we do have an agreement where some of your credits can be transferred over from CSI over to IWU. So you, you won't have to start right from fresh to go ahead and start the bachelor's degree from, from Indiana Wesleyan. You can actually transfer some of your credits from CSI over to IWU. Also, you wonder where ESL Academy comes in. Um, I was talking to uh, Carson Castleman, Dr. Castleman, uh, and uh, one of the things with ESL Academy is we're working on, on that agreement where uh, if a student finishes up the ESL Academy program, then they are able to not have to show English proficiency requirements um, as, as you would as an international student to be able to attend Indiana Wesleyan University or CSI. So that's, that's another way as far as a pathway to be able to say, okay, if you don't have ESL, you do ESL with ESL Academy, and then you can go ahead and, and transfer into any one of these um, institutions, CSI or IWU, and not have to show English proficiency. Um, and of course, this Computer Systems Institute, the degree, uh, the transfer of credits from CSI over to IWU. So that's, those are some things that, as you can see, um, you could start with step one or step two or go straight to step three, which is Indiana Wesleyan University. So that's the kind of pathway we have. Um, we, of course, one of the big things that we want to announce with the partnership between CSI or Computer Systems Institute and IWU, Indiana Wesleyan University, is we, they, we offer, of course, opportunities for you to go to your bachelor's and earn your bachelor's degree. But Indiana Wesleyan University also offers master's degree programs. 
So it's not just bachelors, it's bachelors or masters. Uh, of course, for in order for you to become, to become eligible to get your masters, you have to already have completed your bachelors either here in the United States or in your home country. And we'll talk more about that here in, in just a little bit. So what are the benefits of this partnership? So really we are here to talk about the benefits of this partnership and how it, it would be beneficial to you as an international student. Uh, and one of the things that we talked that we kind of talked about is uh, again, you can go from ESL Academy, uh, ESL programs to one year certificate programs to bachelor's and master's degree programs at IWU. One of the biggest things for international student is what? Affordability, right? Because, um, most of the time, I, I actually started out as an international student, uh, trust me, several, several years ago. Uh, you don't want to know how, how many years ago, but I was an international student coming from India. And I came here when I was 17. And it was, and, and just like any international student, uh, you know, the exchange rates are high. You really want to be able to uh, afford your education. But sometimes the, the cost of an education is so high here in the United States that you're not able to really afford you know, the very high cost of education. We at, uh, at ESL Academy, CSI, as well as IWU, try to keep it as affordable as possible for you as international students. So that's that's really the one of the bigger benefits for you as an international student on why you would want to, you know, uh, go to any, any one of our institutions. You also get support from both institutions during and after each, uh, uh, each of you, your success. So say you come to us, any one of our institutions, ESL Academy, CSI, or IWU, you will have the, the support from all of our institutions to ensure that you are able to be successful. We don't just say, okay, here you go. Uh, you know, uh, we're just going to pass you on to IWU and best of luck. No, that's not how it works. We, we collaborate together and make sure that you're successful. Uh, there's also no English placement requirements uh, for CSI graduates. And like I mentioned, we're working on ESL Academy graduates as well. Uh, so that way, you don't have to take an English placement test. Most of you all know when you go to a university or uh, for bachelor's or master's, you usually have to have TOEFL or IELTS or some sort of English placement test. If you graduate from CSI or ESL Academy, you will not have to do that. The other things are, um, we talked about credit transfers. You can transfer up to 40 credit hours. Now, Dr. White, uh, with regards to, uh, for, uh, for bachelor's programs, the total number of credit hours is 120, correct? Uh, uh, in order to finish up a bachelor's degree, is that right? Yes, that's correct. So when you think about it, 40 out of 120, that's one third of your credits can be transferred. If you've already attended CSI and graduated, you can transfer one third of your credits from CSI directly over to IWU, which is great. I don't think there's a lot of institutions that actually give that and provide that, but through this partnership, you're able to transfer credits. Um, if you are, and this is again, just for bachelors, right? For master's degree programs, we don't do transfer credits because it's not at that same level. However, you do get a, a through the partnership, a one-time book scholarship, uh, which is not to exceed $250. So basically the first quarter, first semester that you're there, you essentially you're able to uh, uh, notice and see that you will end up getting that one-time book scholarship. And then the other aspect of things is we at CSI will assist you into an enrollment into IWU. So we're not just going to say, here's a link here, just talk to Dr. White and that's it. We will help you, assist you, guide you through the paperwork, through, through what all you need in order to enroll in Indiana Wesleyan University and we'll help you enroll at IWU and, and go through that whole process. So we will help guide you throughout that whole process. Are there anything else that you would like to add, Dr. White? Uh, so far, it's worked pretty good, the, the partnership of bringing students in, the support that we've gotten from CSI, and uh, I think we're working well together to make it as easy as possible. We understand it can be complicated, but I think with the two support teams, uh, we can help you um, get uh, enrolled, and if you need uh, help with the visa, um, you know, make that process as, as easy as possible as well. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um... Actually, and, and I got a, I got a message from Sunshine that says, how much does it cost for one year? Do, uh, do we get a number? We will actually talk about that here just shortly, Sunshine. So just bear with me and we'll talk about 
uh, what the cost is for each one of these programs and kind of go from there, okay? So just one second. All right, uh, let, kind of, uh, let me finish up with this IWU partnership is um, we are, through our partnership, we will also be offering it, um, the bachelor's or, or, or the master's degree uh, programs at a campus, which is in Maryville, the Maryville campus for Indiana Wesleyan, which is over in Indiana, right? right across the border from, from Chicago. So it's about what, 45 minutes or so, I think from, from downtown Chicago, 45 minutes to an hour, I guess, right? Uh, from, from Chicago. Yeah, it's less than an hour. Yeah, so, uh, so essentially what you could do is uh, you could essentially go to Maryville campus for Indiana Wesleyan University and through this partnership, be able to study at, Mary, at the Maryville campus right down from Chicago. They will also provide transportation from our CSI Chicago campus to Maryville campus as well. So we're working towards a cohort of students. Um, uh, the, the next intake, uh, or the next semester starts uh, at the end of August, right? Um, Dr. White, what was the date on on the on your uh, um, semester start? Uh, the plan is August 29th if we can get enough enrolled to start. Okay, awesome. So that's something that we are working towards. Of course, we've gotten quite a few students who are interested, who are uh, primarily interested in a lot of the master's degree programs. And then of course, a few that are interested in bachelor's as well. So if you're interested in doing so, please do let us know um, and we can we can help and assist you with that. Um, we also have assistance with, with hotel accommodations if needed for students during in-person weekend classes. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this. For Indiana Wesleyan University, you do not have to attend classes every single week. We will tell you, we will talk to you a little bit about this. It's more of from a hybrid for format. So uh, essentially you only attend classes so often and I'll tell you how often for bachelors and how often for masters. But essentially for Indiana Wesleyan University, you do not have to attend classes every single week. So they have students that, uh, that come to them from all different parts of the country so that's why they say hotel accommodations. If they fly from different part of the country just to attend in-person classes, they can do so and they will help provide uh, you know, opportunities and assistance with hotel accommodations if that's something you wanna do. So, um, so let's, let's talk about Indiana Wesleyan University. Uh, some of the things, a couple of the programs that we have, we're highlighting here, the Bachelor of Science and Management and the Master of Science and Management Information Technology. Um, as you can see, the requirements uh, for bachelors is you have to have a high school diploma. And for international student, being an international student, you need to show financials. You know how, how you have to show your bank statements, you have to show your financials, you have to show $32,821. It could be not just your own bank statement, but it could be, uh, you know, if you have a sponsor and so on and so forth, you can, you can do that as well and showcase that. Good morning, Farouk. Uh, thank you for joining us. Um, we also, there's also opportunities for OPT, which means optional practical training. For those of you who do not know what optional practical training means, is after you graduate from a program, whether it be uh, a certificate, bachelor's, master's level program, you are able to get optional practical training where you can get work authorization for up to one year and this is something that you apply uh, to immigration um, uh, here in the United States to be able to, to get uh, that work permit. So again, that opportunity you have after you graduate. So once you finish up your bachelor's or your master's, um, you know, here, for example, uh, or, or even a certificate level program for, with CSI, you have that opportunity of doing a optional practical training. Um, the classes for a bachelor's degree uh, will be taught online except one weekend every eight weeks. So eight weeks means every two months, right? So one weekend every two months is all you have to do. You have to come in and, and, uh, and do classes. Uh, and like I said, credits can be transferred from CSI. Pamela, you have a question, you raised your hand. Uh, go ahead, what is your question? Yes, please. Um, it's the, someone told me that I can renew the OPT for uh, like, it can be two years if I'm working in a company and they want me to stay one more year. Is it right? 
No, the only time, okay, so OPT, just, just kind of, just so you know, Pamela, OPT or optional practical training is only given, there's, there's two different forms of OPT. There's a regular OPT, and then there's one, what is called a STEM OPT, which is, you know, science, technology, engineering, and math OPT. Most students through any particular program only get up to the one year authorization to be able to do optional practical training, unless you are in some sort of a program that is a science, technology, engineering, math program, which would allow you for a two year extension. But most nine times out of 10, it's probably only, it's you only have that one year OPT. You cannot extend on after you finish that one year on a one year OPT. Uh, you you can you have to continue. You would have to continue to uh, go on to another program. Now I will tell you that there is an opportunity, not, uh, not through OPT, but there's an opportunity through CPT, which is curricular practical training. So if you finish up your OPT and you say, you know what, I want to continue in this in this company, I might do a different position, but I want to continue in this company, and I uh, and and I find a a um, an academic program that fits, you know, within with that particular company. So say it's business related, and you take a business program, then you and that program has CPT day one CPT curricular practical training, and you get you get approved. Uh, by the school, then you can actually work in that company uh, in a position that they might have available. Uh, again, there's a long, there's a process with that, but you have to be enrolled in a day one CPT program in order for you to be able to go ahead and do that. Okay. Okay. Do you have so, some program? Correct. So that, that's that's what we'll talk about as well uh, for uh, IWU for Indiana Wesleyan University, um, the bachelor's program. So don't do not have day one CPT, uh, right, uh, Dr. White? Y'all don't have any options for day one CPT, but for the master's level programs, you do have day one CPT opportunity. That is correct. Um, however, oh, wow. at, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, however, at CSI, uh, at Computer Systems Institute, we do have opportunities for day one CPT um, under what is called customer service uh, specialist program. So if it deals with customer service, uh, if your position deals with customer service, you can apply with CSI and, and uh, work towards approval to be able to get day one CPT with us. So, uh, and that's a certificate level program essentially that, that we offer. But if you are wanting to go to a higher, higher degree level and uh, be, besides your bachelor's and go to a master's degree, uh, IWU has the day one CPT. Uh, if you want to just do certificate level, one year certificate level, we at CSI have the day one CPT under customer service. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you have STEM program? Sorry. Uh, go ahead. With, in the master's, is there a STEM program? Because I need to have like two years full time job here. So I'm trying to find which program allows me to have two years OPT so I can work two years full time. Yeah, unfortunately, I know uh, Dr. White will tell you more about this uh, as far as STEM is concerned. So I'll let, let Dr. White talk about it. Yeah, the, uh, okay. the MSMIT program that Ramon has up is a STEM program. Uh, so it is eligible for the one year OPT and then the application for the um, two year uh, STEM extension. However, uh, there are some um, restrictions uh, that uh, you really cannot have full-time CPT and then be eligible for OPT. Uh, so we encourage you to make sure you do the research and know the difference of uh, uh, whether you're wanting CPT or OPT and how that all fits together. I have a question from Farooq. He says that he's doing hospitality program from CSI. After that, he's going to, he's going to take customer service. Um, and after all of this, he wants to transfer to, to IWU to complete his bachelor's. How long is it going to take? Typically, like I, like I mentioned, um, uh, Farooq, for up to 40 credit hours can be transferred from CSI over to Indiana Wesleyan, which means that you would need to do 80 credit hours uh, over at um, Indiana Wesleyan University. And 80 credit hours, uh, Dr. White, is that typically what, two and a half years? Uh, yes, it's um, for the bachelor's degree, it'll be 12 
Um, 12 credit hours per term. We run three terms a year. Uh, so uh, two full years would be 72 and then one more semester to get to your, get you to 120. Yeah, so basically two, two years, a little over two years. So you once you finish up CSI, um, Farouk, with your hospitality and your customer service and you get your credits transferred, you would take a little over two years for you to finish up your bachelor's. Typically, most bachelor's, you have to do four years, right? And so in order to finish up your bachelor's. But here, because you did CSI, you know, two programs at CSI, and you go over to IWU, you would only need to do a little over two years in order to graduate with a bachelor's. I hope hey, that good makes morning, sense. Sir. Uh, thank you so much for your kind information. Sure, so sure. so I'm uh, I'm a CSI student. I'm doing hospitality in, uh, in, in now, and it's going to be end uh, hopefully in January. And then mm -hmm. I'm trying to take a services program, as I mentioned. So yeah, I'm, I was just worrying if I if because I don't want to waste my this credit which I'm studying. So uh, hopefully I will complete uh, these two programs, and I hope uh, I will try to transfer in in Indiana University. Okay. So yeah, thank you for that. And uh, can I ask one more thing? That how what's gonna be fees uh, uh, for the international student per per year? It will be. For the bachelors? Yes, sir. Yeah, so let me actually, since we have uh, individuals who are asking for that, let me go ahead and, and kind of go through. Uh, actually, I don't hear you though. Here's the financials that's needed. Let me go ahead and pull up another uh, thing real, real, real quick. I forgot to put that information here for a second. Let me pull up the um, the amounts. Uh, do you have the amounts right offhand, Dr. White, as far as per year uh, for your bachelor's degree? No. Um, I okay, should... let me just pull it up here real quick. Uh, I apologize for that. Uh, let me go ahead and pull it up here real quick. Um, I know you sent that over to us at one point in time. So um, I'm going to pull up both the MBA, uh, you know, MBA and ITM, as well as the cost structure for Bachelors of Science in Management. Okay, so I'll pull up both Bachelors of Science in Management, uh, as well as Masters of Science in Management in IT. And that way, you guys can or it will be able to see that. So let me share my screen again. Okay, so um, Bachelor's of Science and Management. Oh, these are the learning outcomes. I apologize for that. And teacher, uh, teacher, is there any possibility in the future you guys offering an arts program, any arts like uh, digital, like photography, video editing, or this kind of graphics designing because I, I saw there is there is none program in CSI and even in Indiana University related to the arts. Okay. Um, I am as far as with us at I uh, you know at CSI, we actually have a digital multimedia program which is uh, a business I mean business career program digital multimedia that. Uh, kind of goes into the graphical aspects of things. So that's that's one program we have, which is a year long. However, I'm not sure from IWU's perspective uh, if you have anything that you would be offering to international students specifically for arts. Uh, not currently and not in the plan. However, uh, Indiana Wesleyan is uh, uh, always open. If we were to get a significant number of students entered, interested in something, uh, we we would definitely uh, uh, research it and see if it, see if it's available see if it's possible. And for those of you all who are asking um, how much it's going to be as far as tuition and things of that nature are concerned, here you can see what the tuition um, aspect is by by the course. So if you see right here, it's three credit hours. Uh, the tuition rate is at four hundred forty nine dollars per credit hour. Um, the total for one one uh, particular course is, as you can see, is is listed out here. 
Um, so whenever you do one semester, what you are looking at is doing three courses per, uh, is it four? No, actually you're doing four courses in one semester, right, uh, Dr. White? So about a little over $1,400 um, per, uh, per course for four courses per semester. So if you think about it from this perspective, say you're doing 1450 times four, about $5,800 or between $5,800 to $6,000 for each semester um, to attend uh, Indiana Wesleyan. Is that right, Dr. White? Yes, and I also put what we use as the 12-month fees for the payment plan into the chat. Uh, so 12 months of your books, I mean, of your tuition books and fees for the bachelor's would be $18,750 for the master's MSM, 11100 Okay, great. Uh, that's probably what you were asking anyways. The, that's what the students are probably asking is for one year, how much is it going to end up being? And so there you go, $18,750 for, for bachelor's, $11,100 for master's per year. Um, essentially, and a D, and if you want to go for your doctorate, which is the DBA, uh, that's fourteen thousand eight hundred twenty dollars per year. Thank you so much for uh, for that, Dr. Wayne. Um, the online classes. It seems like somebody asked about online classes. Uh, when do the uh, what time do online classes usually start? Uh, they're not necessarily synchronous. They're asynchronous, right, Dr. White? So so you, they don't have to be present in online classes. It's only the in on ground classes that they actually have to come and actually attend, right? Uh, correct. Uh, the professors will sometimes offer optional Zooms uh, through the week, but the goal of our program and the way we've set this up on the uh, one day, two day, or the one Friday and Saturday residency would be that on uh, Friday you would go through one of your courses and go through all of the, the lecture, the discussion, the didactic, the answering your questions, and then on Saturday you would do the other course, and then between those times uh, you would be doing your assignments and then connecting in the uh, online uh, platform Brightspace portal that we use. Um, and so uh, there would be no required online asynchronous times uh, but they may be some optional Zooms. Yeah, thank you so much for that information, Dr. White. And then we have a question from Nadezhda Logay, who said, um, Master of Science in Management IT Specialization is the only program that provides I-20 and first uh, day CPT opportunity. Um, that's the one that, we, that we've identified that we can put together with students. We also, they also have MBA. Um, uh, as well, so the Master's in Business Administration IT that also offers the same, right, uh, Dr. White? And that could be something too. Uh, as you can see, Dr. White put in uh, there, the MBA uh, students uh, would pay 12,600 for the year. So MBA also offers the day one CPT as well, right? Yes, we do have several um, different programs. The MSMIT, the one that's on the screen now is our um, most widely available, one most of our international students use uh, because it's, uh, it's broad. It is STEM, OPT, STEM qualified, it's day one CPT. Uh, but we do offer an MBA, an MBA in project management. Those are not STEM. Uh, we offer an MBA in information technology management, MBA in data analytics. Uh, the MSM that's there, the MSM in data analytics, and those are all STEM. Uh, so it really depends on what degree you want, what your goal is uh, that we, we, can, we can work through. Awesome. So again, going back to the Master's of Science in Information Techno uh, Management and Information Technology, the requirements is you have to have a bachelor's degree. But you also, uh, the financials you need to show are actually a little less. It's $24,930. It has the day one CPT opportunity, like we mentioned, and the classes mostly will be taught online. You only have, uh, primarily you have, uh, I think the way the way it is, is two classes, right? Uh, uh, per semester, Dr. White, of which one is online and one is, uh, one is, uh, you come in person every 16 weeks, means once every four months, you come in for, uh, for the in-person 
uh, residency class. Yes, the um, you'll take a class the first eight weeks, and that would be completely online. Again, many of the instructors use uh, optional weekly Zooms, um, and then one class the second half of the term would have a face-to-face -face residency on a Friday and Saturday. Ramil has a question. He's saying that his, he's got a bachelor's in business management. Uh, by what I can see, I guess he's asking, can he get into a program such as this, which is the Master of Science and Management Information Technology? Does, does it, it doesn't have any specific requirements as long as it's just a bachelor's degree, right, Dr. White? It doesn't have to be in, in IT or anything in specific as long as it's a bachelor's degree. Correct. Our program and for the last uh, 40 years has been uh, pretty flexible, pretty liberal acceptance policy, uh, as well as not requiring a GMAT or GRE. Um, so yes, we we would allow you in with a a, um, a BS or a BSM uh, into the the MSM program. And most most institutions actually do that. Uh, just so you know, uh, Ramil, uh, when I first originally finished up my bachelor's, my bachelor's was in computer science and math, totally unrelated. And then I went and got my MBA, my master's in business administration. So uh, here in the U.S., they, they they do you know there is a flexibility that you can uh, change you know uh, change paths as well. Um, you know from that perspective. Um, let's see here. Um, the checklist of documents, I kind of wanted to go through that. Um, I know Farouk, you're asking about where you can use. Let's talk offline here a little bit as well, um, you know, with regards to your hospitality and customer service. But just so you know, if you go for a bachelor's degree, you would get up to 40 credit hours transferred from CSI to IWU. The reason why it's 40 compared to the way we do our credit hours are a little different because the credit hours at the university, they, they do it by three credit hours. We do four credit hours. So it's a little different the way things work and, and the number of courses. So that's why only 40 credit hours actually transfer over. Uh, and that's the max that actually transfer over anyways too. So for, just so you know. Um, for those of you who are interested in applying to IWU, there's a link right here. Um, actually, let me go ahead and put that link on in the chat as well. So let me copy that and put that link here in the chat. If you are interested in applying to IWU, um, what we would do is if you would go ahead and put in uh, your application in through that link, you would also uh, need to have a valid passport visa if you're here in the U.S. If you're not here in the U.S., you, uh, you would apply and we would provide you with an I-20 so you can uh, get get your visa. I mean, work towards getting your visa. Go to the embassy and get your visa. Um, again, uh, in talking with Dr. White, um, the turnaround time is really fast for Indiana Wesleyan. So once everything is complete, if you need an I-20, uh, usually, I think the way we said, what, about a week, right, Dr. White? Uh, yes. Yeah, so uh, once we get all the documents, it takes us about 48 hours for our uh, the file to be completed and evaluated, and then once we submit your, uh, receive your acceptance letter, then usually within another 48 hours, we can get the I-20 if you need uh, an I-20 for an initial visa interview. So, yeah, uh, basically, I always say a week uh, to okay. be safe. Awesome. And then, uh, of course, you need to show your financial security, so um, they prefer... Uh, within 30 days, but we'll accept within 90 days. So essentially, uh, you know, you would need to show bank statements. You would need to show, if not your own bank statements, uh, showing uh, uh, financial support through a sponsor, all of that. Of course, you have to show just like you would normally show to get a visa and to be able to get a, um, you know, to become an international student. And then you also have to have um, official bachelor's transcript for master's level or high school equivalent for, for, for bachelor's students. So if you are going for a bachelor's degree, you need to show your high school. If you're going for your master's degree, you need to show your bachelor's uh, degree that you've uh, earned, whether here in the United States or uh, back in your home country. Okay. One of the only things that I do want to point out is uh, IWU does require you to, to get it evaluated, and, and we will walk you through and, and tell you what that process is like, uh, but, uh, but you do will need to get it evaluated. Uh, you know, if you did get a bachelor's or whatever from your home country, we would need, uh, Indiana Wesleyan does require you to get evaluated, um, you know, uh, through an ACES or a provider, approved provider, so you can actually show that it, it is a valid bachelor's degree. So just so you know, uh, that is the case. Okay. Um, let me see here. 
um, English placement test. Oh, before we go on, Adalgo was asking uh, a student that studied web development program at CSI, can the student extend OPT? Um, unfortunately, with CSI, CSI's web development program is not a STEM program. So once you finish up OPT of one year, you cannot extend. Uh, you can go and do another, you can do a, <laughs> They want CPT program somewhere else or with us or whatever, but you can't do a OPT extension with a with a web development program with CSI. So uh, talking about the checklist of documents uh, that are needed, there's the English placement test for new students. Um, IW requires if you need if you have a TOEFL, it's a 79 for undergraduate, 85 for master's, and 95 for doctorate, or an IELTS uh, score of 6.5 for undergraduate and master's or a seven for doctorate. However, there are waivers in place. Like I told you, if you are coming from CSI, that's a waiver. So if you graduated with, from CSI, that's a waiver and you can go directly into IWU without having to show English proficiency. If you attended four years of high school um, uh, at a US high school uh, or four years in an international education institution where English is a primary language of instruction. So if you, if you were in your home country and uh, you finished up your four years uh, at uh, high school uh, in, in your home country where English is primary language, uh, you can show that. Um, if you got, if you have an SAT reading score of 27, ACT of 20, or you earned a bachelor's degree or higher from a college or university here in the United States, um, which includes actually us at CSI. If you graduate from CSI, then you, you are able to uh, transfer over without having to show English proficiency and prove English proficiency. So that's something also, just so you know, um, Indiana Wesleyan has been real flexible with a lot of different things uh, that, that they are able to do. So that, that'd be great. Raymond, uh, there is another question from yeah. Simi. Oh, yeah, good. I was gonna say. Uh, Simi says, if my passport expiration is less than a year, can I still apply for January, 2023? Um, essentially, uh, for, for the most part, um, I know our processes are as long as they're valid for at least the, uh, the next six months uh, from the time that you apply. But Dr. White, in your case, what is your policy as it relates to um, uh, visa, I mean, your passport expiration? We'll let you apply, but you probably need to provide how you are going to get your passport um, renewed um, so that you are legal for your time in in the U.S. Yeah, and sometimes we understand now with with COVID and everything else, sometimes, you know, uh, embassies are backed up and sometimes you have to go through a certain kind of process or whatever. Uh, most of the time we've seen uh, like a lot, a lot of students can go ahead and schedule it and get a receipt. Uh, and you can, as long as you can provide something like that as well, that would be something that, of course, we can accept too. And I'm sure Dr. White can uh, can talk about it at IWU, but, but we, we usually typically also accept um, at CSI like receipts saying that you you're you have already put in a receipt, uh, put in your request to get your um, passport extended or, or renewed. All righty, um, again, with the financial support form, you need um, amount of financials you need for bachelors uh, is 32,821 and for masters it's 24, six, uh, 24, 930, sorry. Um, one thing for Indiana Wesleyan, if you, are bringing your spouse. So if you have a, if you're an F1 and you have an F2, whether it be your husband or your wife um, is an F2 uh, that you're bringing along with you, you would need to add $6,000 more to this number um, as far as showing financials. And if you have a child, uh, you need to add $3,500 more per child. So if you have two children, it's $7,000. If you have one child, it's only $3,500, right? So yes, Ramel, you have a question. Go ahead. Sure. Yes. Hi. Uh, hi again. So I have questions about do I have to graduate to get this opportunity to apply to university or I can like still use this opportunity uh, to apply to university? For example, okay. you say, um, do I have to graduate to like use this opportunity when I approved, when I get approved or I can't, for example, I will graduate this, this December. So before yes. graduating the CSI, do I have a still chance to use these opportunities? Yeah, you you can. Of course, you you have that opportunity. We don't hold students hostage. Of course, we don't we don't hold students hostage and say, oh, you have to finish up here before you leave. The only thing is, there's two things with that. One is um, 
when you do graduate, you get that opportunity to be able to transfer credits, right? If you don't mm -hmm. graduate, you don't get that opportunity to transfer the credits. That's one, right? The second thing is, uh, you know, uh, I don't know if as far as English proficiency, if you need to show that or whatever, but then again, you know, if you're a graduate of CSI, then you can uh, go straight in without showing English proficiency. But if you're not, you can show English proficiency in other ways, um, okay. as like I mentioned before. So there's no there's no stopping you from going to IWU. In fact, we will help and assist you in that process if that's what you want to do. Um, and, and we can work with you on that. But again, there's features and benefits with, with graduating. And then, of course, there's some without. So it just depends on what your goals are and what you're wanting to do. Uh, but again, the transfer of credits only happens at the time when you do graduate from a program because they would take you know into consideration all of those credit transfers okay yeah it makes sense all right, all right so thank you so much appreciate sure, it sure and the next uh, uh next uh uh intake after august uh, i know they have one in in january right a uh, dr white um for for a semester so just because we have this one doesn't mean that this will be the only one we have other opportunities as well yeah for the um the bachelor's programs, we will start them every August, every uh, January, and every December. Uh, in the MSMIT, we actually start those six times a year. So you could start at the end of August, you could start at the end of October, January, middle of March, beginning of May, and uh, end of June. Yeah. So there's more opportunities for, uh, for master's, but there's three opportunities for uh, for bachelors, um, as in uh, August, um, January, and is there one in May? Is that right? Yes, the first week of May. Okay, so so you have August, January, or May for bachelors if if you wanted to go for any one of those in, uh, uh, you know semesters. So just so you know, there. Okay. All righty. Um, all right, Aline uh, actually asked, uh, and, and Dr. White was able to answer. So thank you so very much, Dr. White, uh, in regards to living expenses and every six months. Uh, I know that the, the, uh, I know there is a payment plan. I know Dr. White talked about this as well. There's also a monthly payment plan um, that can be done, and, and he put that in the chat too. Uh, and you, do you have a monthly payment plan option with Indiana Wesleyan as well. So if you want to break it down into uh, a monthly plan, they have that option as well um, for you to be able to do so. Um, Actually, it's not really an option. It is a requirement. Oh, for it's a requirement. Uh, oh. You, your option is pay the entire 12 months up front or do the monthly payment plan and have it automatically deducted for the 12 months. So that's, you know, kind of the, the two options cash students and F1s are cash students have. Okay, that's straightforward then. Either pay it all up front, which most international students not, not necessarily. I mean, I'm not saying all of you all have, but I know when I was an international student, I couldn't pay the whole year up right up front. So uh, dividing it out into 12 months, that seems like a real good option. Um, the other thing is um, actually brought you up the schedule. So here's the schedules. Uh, so this, um, you know, essentially we have uh, fall quarters and we have winter and summer. So essentially the, these are the dates here and when they end. Um, yeah, and that's what I have specifically for um, IWU and what we have again, kind of uh, going back to it, I'll put the link again for uh, Indiana Wesleyan for you to apply if you plan to apply. And do let us know uh, here at CSI because we will be the ones to really help you through the process as well to be able to um, gather all the paperwork, walk you through the process. Because even though Indiana Wesleyan will, will get this information, we still are going to help you at CSI to be able to help you through the process of, of applying, gathering documents and things like that. So if you have any particular questions in regards to that, we, we can help and, and, and assist you. Our admissions team will help and assist you through that process. Uh, Ramil, do you still have a question? Do you have your hand raised because you have a question or? Sir, actually, yeah. <laughs> Thank okay. you for asking. Sorry I just have more that. questions. Yeah, that's all right. So uh, once I apply, get approved, uh, for example, I have a, match, a bachelor's degree about uh, business, like a total mm -hmm. different. Uh, once I get the approved for master's degree, like uh, engineer IT, so mm -hmm. still I will get one year, right? I mean, to regular just one year education. So, now one the side. thing is, yeah, yeah, the thing is with MSM IT, like Dr. White talked about, 
Mm -hmm. there's, there's, there's something you have to, uh, you have to think about, um, Ramil. There's, there's two things, right, really. One thing is, are you wanting to do day one CPT? CPT is curricular practical training, which means you're, you're studying and you're, you're, you're getting experience of working at the same time. Mm -hmm. If you do that, and you do that for at least one year, full time, you are not able to access OPT just so you know that, right? So if you mm -hmm. do one at one year or more of CPT, you're not able to do optional practical training or OPT. So that's your decision first. The second thing is when you finish up with the MSM IT, um, as Dr. White mentioned, that is a STEM program. So when you apply for OPT, you will get one year OPT to begin with, you understand? But with this MSM IT, if you get approval for one year, after at towards the end of that first year, you can apply for up to not saying you will get it, but you, you would you could apply for up to 24 months or up to two more years of optional practical training extension. It is up to immigration to actually give you that extension and they will they have some requirements for you. But again, you so basically if you play your cards right, you don't do CPT at the very you know during the program, you could get up to three years of OPT. Again, it's not dependent on us, not dependent on IWU, dependent on immigration to actually give you that authorization. So just so you know, you have that opportunity, but you have to make two decisions. One is whether you want CPT full-time while you're studying. And if you do mm -hmm. that, you forego OPT. Or if you do OPT, again, you get one year and an option for doing two more years after that first year of OPT with STEM OPT. So that's, that's totally up to you. Uh, but again, Dr. White can talk more about that, but that's typically uh, how it works. I've been a DSO before. It actually used to be a PDSO as well before, so I can talk more about that too. But uh, just so you know, that's that's really your decision and your choice. Okay, so thank you. Thank you so much. Sure. Dr. White, anything to add? Uh, I do want to clarify the one thing with the link that Ramon uh, put on in, in for you to do. Um, that is just an initial entry uh, for us to get your basic information, part of that is to know your interest. Part of that is to make sure we connect you with CSI. Uh, once you fill in, I think there's only four or five uh, pieces of information that you need to put in there. Uh, that will get you to us. That will allow us to tell CSI that you have the interest. And then we would return that you would need to go and complete the entire application program for Indiana Wesleyan. So it's kind of a two-step application, uh, but it's critically important to make sure we are connecting you with Ramon and his team, uh, giving them credit, but also giving you the support uh, that they're um, uh, claiming, uh, give you the support that they are telling that, that you're there and that they have shown with others. Uh, but uh, So it is a two-step application. I just wanted to clarify that. I did put another website in there for some that were a little interested in what programs are offered. Um, and uh, um, right now it is not 100% updated because one of the link is not working, but the information that's on there is accurate. Ramon, you're muted. As Aline mentioned, thank you. Uh, as Aline mentioned, you have she has a bachelor's in business administration and would like to start a master's in any related area, especially specifically in finance. Um, instead of doing uh, IT, there is that MBA component. So there is the master's in business administration if that's something you would want to do. Um, again, uh, you know, that's again your choice and that's something that you would want to, you know, you want I'd want to take a look at, but there is an MBA that IWU has to offer, Master's in Business Administration that, uh, that IWU has to offer as well. So, and the, and the MBA or MBA project manager. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah, any other, so we we have, Ramil, you still have your hand up. Do you have a question? <laughs> oh, no, 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 maybe, uh, just, I've looked like a, early, sorry about that. Okay, no, 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 bro, no problem. Running. I just wanna make sure uh, I, we answer <laughs> all of the questions that are, that are being right. brought forward. Um, so what I'd like right. to do is also, uh, if you would not mind, uh, if you have 
Um, if you can just uh, uh, put your, um, if you have an opportunity to, and you would like to also put in for a drawing, we're going to be putting uh, putting together a drawing here for uh, for a gift card as well. So if you want to just put in your uh, send send over your email addresses over to Karina, um, uh, we'll we'll do a drawing here for you as well. Um, if that's something you'd want to do. Uh, and uh, and please let us know if you have any additional questions. We're here for another five more minutes, so we want to give you make sure you have enough uh, ample time to ask your questions. Um, but again, just uh, if you have any questions, please just feel free to ask us. We're here for for you and to be able to help clarify any questions that you might have. Um, if you don't have any questions currently, uh, of course, we'll help you through the process. Um, you can email us at. Uh, uh, marketing uh, at csinow.com, and I'll put that in. Uh, if you have any questions that we have not answered for you right away, um, you can ask us there. Um, if you want to go directly for admissions, um, we also have admissions at csinow.com. Just make sure that you you say that you're interested in this, uh, the IWU. Uh, path and uh, we will help you through that process as well. So you can reach out to us directly here in marketing or even with my other with my team as well over in admissions uh, and we will help you through that process. And Dr. White is giving you studentcare.international at Indiana Western INDWSRDU. Thank you so much, Nadejda. We appreciate that. Um, yeah, if you have any other questions, burning questions, anything like that, feel free to email us. Feel free to, to uh, let us know and we'll be glad to do that. Thank you so much, Aline, as well. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, and again, thank you, Dr. White, for, for being able to come out and, and talk to uh, our potential students here who are, who are interested in IWU. Anybody else have any questions? No? All right, not now, all right. Thank you so much. Um, we're just gonna give a couple more minutes and uh, if, you, if you're if you good, just uh, um, thank you for joining us again. Um, if you want to uh, leave your email address as well, please do so, so we can go ahead and um, put you in for a drawing. You can send it to Karina <laughs> directly. Yeah, I just got a few. Okay, you got a few? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All righty. Sajal. Okay, I'm going to stop the recording here. <laughs>